Hello and welcome back to Nostos. My name is Ronnie and I make VR only videos. Today we'll be finishing the first mission. I had started the mission on December 22, so it's about time we get this done. Before I go any further, I should warn you that this video is one big spoiler. If you want to be surprised by the game, I would advise you not to watch the video, as the surprise will be gone. That being said, let's move on. Sadly, I had to restart the mission several times, due to bad recordings, bad sound and even bugs in the game. If you have played this mission yourself, well, there was this one time where Grandma's hut disappeared and there was no coral to be found. So I had to start all over again once more. Anyway, this time it's done. I nailed it. But first things first, we move on from where we left off a week ago. We had to go talk to Bering about making the medicine for Grandma. He said it would take a little while. So in the meantime, I started preparing the base. The first things I did was building the research station, a simple workbench, the radio station, a small closet and a hut, as instructed by Bering. I guess he was sick of sleeping under the stars. He also requested me building a defensive crossbow, but I decided to postpone this a little bit so I could finish my planned preparations. We have to defend the totem at all costs, so I better make sure the bandits couldn't get near it. So I started making a wooden fence. Not exactly impenetrable, but good enough to slow them down while Bearing, Crybaby and myself would punish them for trying to invade us. After some more gathering, finishing the last few builds and making sure we had food in our belly, we were ready to put down the crossbows. I wasn't going to put up only one, no no. I built four of them! With a little help from the villagers, it didn't take long for the first crossbow to finish, so I moved to the next step in the quest, to check Baron's progress on the medicine. Sure enough, it was finished, so we rushed over to Grandma to give it to her. Are you back, Arnie? Just stay in bed, Grandma. How many times have I told you? Your medicine is ready. Oh, thank you for all this, Arnie. I'm already a big girl. Could it be those bandits? You stay here, Grandma. I'll find out what's happening. Be careful out there, Arnie. The bandits I met before come to attack the village. It seems they haven't learned their lesson yet. In order to protect the village and grandma, I must drive them all away for good this time. Bandits. They were early. I hadn't finished all of my crossbows yet, and on top of that, they decided to not let the wooden fence stop them. They were inside faster than a speeding bullet. I had to do something quick, but this could go bad very fast. There was one holding a flamethrower. Not good. This one had to die as fast as possible, or the village totem would burn to the ground. If only it was easier to see which one was playing with fire. The totem is burning, and I have no idea if I can put out the fire. Frantically, I'm searching for options. There's nothing in the totem itself, so I check the workbench for something like an extinguisher. I can't find it. I can only hope the fire will stop by itself. Bandits have been dealt with, but the totem is still burning. The last thing I can think of is to build something, so I go into building mode to see if there's anything there. There's nothing there. I can only wait. Thankfully the fire stopped soon after. I started gathering and fixing the fence. I also hired a roaming villager to help in the next fight. Next I had to build three more crossbows. I put up a few extra just to be sure. Let the boss come. 
I grabbed the last bit of ammo I had in my container and then I waited. Hey, get up! Get up, you fool! What a bunch of trash! I'm taking on all of you! This was it. The boss himself and his gang. A few of them went straight for the crossbows, so I got rid of those first. This is going up. Two more. Down he goes. Now it was just between us and the boss. Down he goes. What do you have to say for yourself? You better not think you won, cause it ain't over yet. Run you fool. It was time to check on grandma. Decided to crash, but when I logged back in, it still showed me the Grandma. Cross. Grandma. The coral sea was. My grandma turned into that thing after taking the medicine. Damn you, Iron Forge Doctor! I'll bleed you dry for what you've done! That ball of medicine turned grandma into corals. The Iron Forge doctor who gave me the prescription will definitely pay for grandma's death. But the Iron Forge tribe is a long way from here. I should first go to the nearest Iron Forge outpost and ask about the whereabouts of the doctor. So, grandma died and we want our revenge. I quickly check my inventory before I make my way to the market. We have some distance to cover, so I want to make sure I have everything we need. And off we go. A few minutes later I arrive and find myself killing two gods, Robin Let Hood style. Go. Nice move. Very skilled. Cut the crap! Bring me your tribe's doctor! Compared to your archery, your conversational skill is surprisingly worse. Kick her out of here. Right now. <laughs> what nonsense. As if the boss wasn't enough, I now found myself dealing with the blonde woman who has absolutely no intention of telling me anything. It looks like I failed to find out any information from the Iron Forge outpost. Since diplomacy has been thrown out of the window, it's time to negotiate with my fists. 
First things first, I wanted to get inside the village, so it was my turn to burn some fences. This was my way in. Okay. Finally some luck. The guard seemed to be stuck behind the stairs. But luck only lasts so long. First the guard got unstuck, he was free again, and believe it or not, at this point my game crashed. I got back into the game as fast as I could, and it looked like the guard was somewhere stuck under the house. But he wasn't, it was another guard. This little guy with his big hammer took me down to like about 1% health. Luckily I had my big gun and I could shoot him down. But now I had a health issue. I noticed a few boxes uh, lying around so I checked them and my inventory for health potions. I had two on me and a bandit so for now I was good. Out of nowhere the next guard appeared. I still had my big gun equipped so it didn't take me too long to take this one out. I had wasted many bullets. It was the first time I faced a blonde lady, and it turns out, she's a tough cookie, it's not gonna go down without a fight. The boxes in the house had some extra ammunition and guns, they came in really handy. For a little while I tried hitting her with the big hammer I picked up from the guard earlier, but the hammer was heavy and I was too slow to get close to her, so I gave up on the idea of smashing her head. Next I tried the deadly shotgun. While very powerful, it was pretty hard to hit her because she was moving a lot. When you hit someone with a deadly gun, it is really deadly. But for now, I was really low on health and I had to retreat. I healed back up and decided it was time to finish this off. She had no chance. Where's the doctor? Tell or die. So what if I tell you? The doctor is at the base camp with Boss Hammer. The Iron Forge camp is impregnable. You and your dog won't have a chance in hell of getting to the boss. attack. Shame on your tribe. Mission 1 complete. Dear friends, enjoy the rest of your day and we'll meet again in another video. Maybe Nostos, maybe another game, but sure as hell in virtual reality. Goodbye.